Hello Atari fans! In this video I'm going to show you how you can put your original Descartes PCB into one of the new 3D printed PCB cases that we have provided. Uh, what you see on the left is the original Descartes case. It was intentionally created to be very cheap because the card itself was rather expensive. So if you look at it, there is not much quality. This is not very stable and it also leads to problems when you put it into your Atari. And um, what you see in the middle was one of the first prototypes created by Sven from the Abuk. Um, it was rather large. Uh, it's working and it's comfortable, but uh, it leads problems when you try to put it into some of the Atari models because it's uh, larger than the original cartridges were. And what you see on the right is the current version of the 3D printed model for the Descartes shell. And um, yeah, what I'm going to show you now is how you can put the PCB from this one into that one. Looking at the original card, you see there is a screw. So first you have to remove the screw. And then there is some tape around the two halves of the shell because the second screw isn't there. And also there was no way of actually driving the screw, screw through the upper and uh, lower part of the shell. So this doesn't actually hold very closely. So what you have to do is you use a cutter to cut the tape. And this now easily opens up. And without any force you can remove the original PCB. Now you take the 3D printed case. You can take apart the upper and the lower part of it. There is no screw. This is just holding together by the pressure of the rifles on these edges. And what I have to say is that this is a always work in progress. This is a yeah, low number of uh, um, runs that we have printed by now and we are trying to improve with every print. So what you have to make sure is you have to make sure that this hole is large enough so uh, this switch fits through well. Um, in case of doubt you should use a screw, uh, um, a drill and drill it a bit wider. Also inside here there might not be exactly enough space to fit the PCB in without force. So it should fit in without much too much force. Um, if this is too narrow then you can just use um, a cutter and also remove part of this plastic so it fits in smoothly. So, and then it's very easy because there is no screws and nothing and this should fit in here quite well. Don't put it too much to the top because otherwise the shell won't close. Also the, uh, the switch won't work. Then you put it in here on the left hand side. You push it down gently on the left and you hear it clicking and now it's actually fixed. And all you have to do now is take the upper part of the shell, put it on top and again press gently so it snaps in. Check if the switch actually works. And there you are, your cart in a nice new shell for which we are also going to provide some labels soon. See you!